dust can build up on the front trunnion of the industrial cabinet saw and may interfere with the lower limit of the blade height. If you can no longer lower the blade completely below the table, dust buildup is typically the problem. This video shows you how to remove the dust and restore the lower elevation limit of the blade. First, disconnect power to the saw. Follow the proper lockout procedure. Turn off the main power switch and then remove the lockout key. Remove the table insert. Remove the riving knife or any guarding or dust collection equipment. Remove the blade. This view is from the back of the saw. Here is where dust can build up and interfere with the lower travel limit. In this example, there is only a small amount of loose dust. A saw with elevation travel issues may have a buildup of compacted dust. You can remove the dust through this opening. Break up the dust. Take care not to damage the elevation screw. Use compressed air as needed. Remember to wear eye protection. If you need more room to work, continue with the following steps. Remove the dust shroud door. Pivot slightly and lift off the post. Next, remove the dust shroud. For better access to the two cap screws that secure the dust shroud, lower the arbor. Use a 5mm ball end hex driver to remove the cap screws. Raise the arbor. Carefully lift and slightly turn the dust shroud until you can access the two screws. Remove the two screws to disassemble the dust shroud. Carefully remove the main piece of the dust shroud. Ensure there is no compacted dust on the bottom of the limit bolt. Now we'll test the lower elevation limit. Place the blade on the arbor. Lower the blade to confirm the blade goes completely below the table. If so, the problem is solved and you can reassemble all the parts you removed. Reassemble and replace the dust shroud. Replace the blade. Dust shroud door. Riving knife. Table insert. If you have questions, contact SawStop Service.